Wood and a delegation from Derry City Council and IDEX to Liverpool to make a case that we should be City of Culture 2013. And against all the odds, we achieved that accolade. The announcement was made on the one show live and we travelled to Liverpool. And as soon as the announcement was made that Derry was to be City of Culture 2013, I stepped off the platform and my telephone, my mobile phone rang and it was Ian Paisley. <laughs> and it was Ian Paisley to say, I've been watching the announcement. I think it's a fantastic announcement for the city and I think it's absolutely brilliant for our young people. I had a cup of coffee with him earlier this week, it lasted over an hour and a half and I reminded him that that telephone call meant more to me than any other telephone call I received in the days after it. And we went forward then to make a case that the flag shown the heron would come to this city also during the course of a very important culture year. And Peter Robinson and I signed a joint letter uh, appealing to Cultus Culture Ireland in Dublin to give very serious consideration to Derry hosting the 2013 Flag Kjolna Heron. And that was a rocky journey also, but we got the result that we craved. And that was due more to Loris and Muruku, who led the charge in Dublin and effectively brought Flag Kjolna Heron to this city. And what a wonderful opportunity it is for all of us. And we thank him from the bottom of our hearts. We are very honoured today to have the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins, and his wife, Sabina, with us. I think that too sends a very powerful message about how far forward this city has moved in the course of the last number of years. A city looking to the future, looking to the future of our young people, providing jobs, bringing tourists, and recognizing the great opportunity we have as a people and a city to send a message to many others elsewhere that the best way forward is to be united, not be divided. On the 12th of July, we saw the Orange Order and their tens of thousands march in this city. It was a family occasion, it was a great day, and we were happy that this was happening in our city. Yesterday, the Apprentice boys and their visitors came here, 20,000 of them, and I too was happy that they were here, because the Apprentice boys in this city have made their own unique contribution towards uh, inclusiveness and recognizing the importance of all of us respecting each other's culture and working together to build a better future for the most important people in this city and they are our children. So this is the beginning of what is going to be a fantastic week in this city. And there's four more months to go of City of Culture. We are a beacon of hope for other divided societies throughout the world. We have shown the ability to come together and to work together to respect each other and build a better future. Others can learn from us. And this experience in the course of this week will be wholly inclusive with every section of our community represented, every section of our community respected. So enjoy the week. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. The weather's going to be unbelievably good. <laughs> but most of all, thank yourselves, because none of this would have been possible without your support, 
your support for the peace process and your support for the ending of division in this city. Gora Mila, Mila Mayorga. Thank you very much indeed, uh, First Minister Martin. Well, now we have.